Hello again and welcome to another special episode of PD Exposed as we bring you back to the Oregon coast. Hi, I'm your host, John Olson. Heather and I are going to take you on a tour of one of the Oregon coast's most favorite travel towns, Seaside. From the fabulous shopping to the great restaurants, there's something for everybody in Seaside. This episode also features a stunning helicopter ride over the beach, and Heather and I get a little goofy at the Best Western. We've got a lot to bring you, so kick back and enjoy this special episode of PD Exposed from Seaside. Hi, we're best friends from Welch's, Oregon, and you're watching PD Exposed. We're going in motion high above Seaside, Oregon today, courtesy of Seaside Helicopters, located right off of Highway 101. Gary, tell us about Seaside Helicopters. Seaside Helicopters was started in 2002. Uh, the heliport's been here since 1990. We've got the Bell Jet Ranger B3 here. Tell us about your tours. Well, we have a, a simple introductory tour that takes you over Seaside and back. Very short, uh, five minute flight, but it is a helicopter experience. Uh, people seem to love it because they get a chance to, to uh, have the whole experience, short as it is, for a very, very small price. Uh, and then we have the Cannon Beach Tour that lasts about twice as long, uh, about eight to 10 minutes. And we take you out there and show you everything there is to see, the lighthouse, uh, Goonies Rock, Tillamook Head. You can see all the way to Cape Falcon, sometimes to Cape Mears down by Tillamook on a nice day. Thank you so much for taking us up. Thank you to Seaside Helicopters. If you guys want a great rush and a great experience, make sure to visit Seaside Helicopters right off 101 in Seaside. Shopping in Seaside is a shopper's dream. Hundreds of shops line the streets of Seaside, many of them within walking distance of each other and within walking distance of local accommodations. Savings by the sea, tax-free savings by the sea, right here in Seaside at the Seaside Factory Outlet Center. There's 25 manufacturers outlets, over 100,000 square feet of shopping. Time to go shopping. We're zooming into zoomies to get geared up for the slope. I'm here with Tamara, the store manager, the very pregnant store manager. What'd your baby do? Uh, in four weeks. Tell us about zoomies. Zoomies is aimed at a, a culture, teen to early 20 kids that just like to go out and have fun. So what are you guys going to get me geared up in today? Well, we're going to throw you in a four square snow jacket, which is the most durable and high rated jacket we carry in our store. Uh, some bonfire snow pants, get you looking good. Zoomies has me all decked out, yo, but I need some energy before I hit the slopes. Chocolate. I think I'll go to Rocky Mountain Chocolate. Hi, I'm Mike with Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory, and I'm the head dishwasher and candy maker. What are you making right now? We're making chocolate peanut butter fudge, the old-fashioned way. All right, you're going to get your hands dirty? Come on, this is easy. This process for fudge takes about 45 minutes overall from cook to table. Stand it up, roll it off into, you want a little bit closer and higher. You want to make it look like a French bread loaf when it's all done. Now this is a nice old fashioned recipe. Suited up at Zoomies, sugared up at Rocky Mountain Chocolates, and you know, I haven't hit the slopes for a while on the snowboard, kind of a little bit nervous. Maybe just a pinch of wine. A little taste of wine, of course, at the wine house, but rumor has it, they also have beer.
Let's talk about the wines first. What makes your place different from other places you can buy wine? Many, many labels, uh, vast selection. That's good. So which is your favorite? I like big dark cabs, something maybe California. I like Oregon Pinot Noirs too, they're pretty good. Tell us about your beers. You've got a lot of beers behind me. We have them kind of all over the world. They're from uh, anywhere from Oregon, which has some of the, one of the most amounts of drafts in the, in the world. Um, but we go from Belgium to England. I just got one in from Finland. We have about 300 different labels, and so people come from all around just to find our store. What is your most unique beer? Rogue, I, as Newport, Oregon, it's something local, but chocolate stout made with imported dark Belgian chocolate. Oh man, it's awesome. Speaking of chocolate. chocolate. What's that stuff on your face? It's cho chocolate. But I'm Did done. you drink a beer? Everybody's sure to find a bargain right here at the Seaside Factory Outlet Center, right off of Highway 101. I know I did. Mm. If you like prime rib like me, and you're in Seaside, Oregon, then you've got to come to Bigfoot's Restaurant located right off of Highway 101. We're here for prime rib and a whole lot more. We have about 4,000 square feet. We have a bar. Talk about your food, because that's something pretty special, too. Food is out of sight, and we get the best meat. It comes out of uh, Nebraska. It's all corn-fed beef and everything, and it's tender. You cut it with a fork. What about Bigfoot here? Why Bigfoots? I had to have a theme. When we started it, this friend of mine, Bill Teeples, owned a sporting store downtown here. He had him there, so I said, well, let's, let's get Bigfoot and bring him down. We'll call it Bigfoot's Restaurant. You gotta look around here and see just, I mean, it's the ambiance of the place, it really is. Antiques and everything else around here, it's just really neat. You know what they say about men with big feet, don't you? Your feet aren't that big. <laughs> What's how to relax the back today? The Contour Sleeper Sofa. This is a super comfortable chair, but watch how easy Stu here turns it into a bed. These are beautifully designed sofas. They come in all sizes, from a cot size to a king. It's high-density memory foam. They're so easy to operate. No more chain link fence to lie on, no more bar at your back. Even a caveman can do it? Hop on and enjoy. Oh, wow, this is comfortable. Mm -hmm. I can only see one problem, Stu. What's that? If I get one of these, how am I ever going to get my guests to leave? I don't know. For more information on the Contour Sleeper Sofa and other products from Relax the Back, dial the number on your screen. And here's your Relax the Back, what's on tap, calendar of events. On a blanket with my baby is where I'll be. Bum, 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 bum. Under the boardwalk, ooh, out of the sun, ooh, we'll be having some fun. It's a beautiful Saturday morning and I just pulled into the Best Western Ocean View Resort where John and the crew got here last night. Now, I know how John sleeps, so I'm sure he's still snoring some Z's. I think I'm gonna go inside and wake him up. Doing. It's too early. 
What are you doing? I want to feed some birds. I need another hour. <laughs> get out. No, oh, come on. Come on. Let's get up. It's beautiful. Come on, come on. Let's get dressed. What time is it? Uh, <laughs> noon. It's oh, noon. it's noon? It's noon. I guess. Come yes. on. I guess I better get up. <sighs> Red. Come and get it. Bread's on. Oh, this good sweet. job. You got mine now. There you go. Nice. Tell me what makes Best Western so unique from all the other hotels here at Seaside. It's the view, and we are one of the only hotels that does events on the beach, where we can actually do a beach function during the weather when we have so much nice weather here. From intimate gatherings of 10 to 20 people up to intimate or not so intimate gatherings of up to 500 people, we had some great events this summer, both on the beach and also in our ballrooms. We had almost 20 weddings this summer. And going through the hotel, I see a lot of kids around here, pets. We're a pet friendly property. Um, we really enjoy having our families and our families really enjoy being here. We do a lot of really fun things for the families. They can build a bonfire out on the beach and they can roast marshmallows and make s'mores and it's just really a fun atmosphere. The Seaside Promenade, also known as The Prom, was built in 1920 and is just under two miles long. And it's a great place to go running and accommodates anything from a wheelchair to a baby stroller. Since 1937, the Seaside Aquarium has been a popular tourist travel destination here at the beach. So let's go inside, talk to Keith, and learn a little bit about aquatic life. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, All come right. on. One of the things that about the Seaside Aquarium is it's privately owned. It's one of the last few privately owned aquariums in existence. And one of the reasons we can do that is because of its size. It's small enough to be able to pay for itself. Here we have a female wolf eel that's getting her evening herring. Oh, there she goes. Oh yeah, nothing's better than that. These guys live off the coast. Their diet in the wild is mainly uh, Dungeness crabs. Here we like to vary their diet a bit. The beautiful fish in front of her is a yellow eye rockfish. Most of the aquatic life that we have seen, where do they come from? Um, most everything is found right off the coast here. Uh, there are a couple exceptions. The lobster comes from New England, but that, that's the only one. Everything else you can just find off the northwest coast. Um, this is a giant Pacific octopus. The fascinating thing about these guys is they, their lifespan is only three to four years. They go four years, they spawn and die a lot like a salmon. Now I'm here with Christina and here with Madison. Um, tell me a little bit about What's going on here in these little tubs? We've got touch tanks here. We've got crabs, sea anemones, snails. We've got clams, mole crabs, sea urchins, barnacles, mussels. We've got pretty much just a variety of things you'd find in tide pools and stuff that you'd find here along the Oregon coast. So what's your, what's your favorite? Do you like those or what are those called again? Um, sea anemones. So that one's your favorite? Mm -hmm. The 
Seaside Aquarium was the first aquarium in the world to successfully breed harbor seals in captivity back in the 50s. And we've, they've been doing a good job ever since. Right now, uh, all 14 seals that we have are second, third, and fourth generation captive born. One of the things about our aquarium is that it's it's up close and personal. Um, so that that's what makes us different and I think that's the flavor we want to keep. Did you know that biologists estimate that somewhere between 500,000 and 5 million marine species have yet to be discovered? Oh, I guess you did know. Seaside's gently sloping 250-foot-wide beach is the most heavily used beach along the Oregon coast. How about a little Cajun spice right here in Seaside? It's a little bayou restaurant, and if I'm going to be authentic, got to down the beads, baby. Little Bayou opened six and a half years ago. We came into Seaside, I fell in love with the area. I think it's the people in the community here, especially the business community, being able to get to the water, going down to the prom or down on 12th Street, and just watching the waves come in, uh, is just the most pleasant thing. This is our orange duck with the Grand Manier sauce and asparagus mashed potatoes. Here is a combination etouffee, which is a very typical New Orleans dish. The etouffee is a rich brown sauce served with plain rice and corn mock choux, which is a Native American Indian dish. This is the most popular dish on the menu, which is chicken chapatulas. It's done with roasted potatoes, onions, mushrooms, and tasso ham, which is a highly spiced ham. Comes out of Louisiana from Chef Paul. Green beans, and it's topped with a Bernays sauce. Well, as they say in New Orleans, la zale bon temps roule, let the good times roll. I'm here with Tom and Jean who run the Seaside Natural History Center in Seaside. What is this center all about? What we're trying to do is basically show the connection to the land and the sea and the beautiful rivers that flow through Seaside and invite the public in to discover that, discover the joy of the view that we see out here and also the connection to our Native American culture in the area. People come in and they want to know where they can go birding, where they can go hiking, where they can go biking or kayaking, and we have all those resources here and we can direct them out throughout the entire county. Clark of Lewis and Clark fame led an expedition right through this very path through Tillamooket, just south of here to Cannon Beach to locate a beached whale. Now Lewis stayed behind all the time. Can't figure that one out. Unless you guys are thinking what I'm thinking. Hi, I'm John. And I'm Debbie. We're partners in life and in business at Little Bayou and you're watching PD Expo. What is going on with Stephanie Schneiderman today? I'm very focused on a new band that I'm part of called Dirty Martini. You are so busy, you're doing a solo deal. Kung Fu Bakery, live at Kung Fu Bakery CD, which we're featuring tonight. One thing I noticed about you, and I've noticed about you from day one when I hear you sing, you talk about your songs before they, they come on. You talk about what they mean, how they, what the inspiration was, and I think that's really cool. Most musicians don't do that. So last night I played a gig at a winery, Hip Chicks Do Wine, and I didn't say anything. I just played the music because I just wasn't in the right space and I remember one of my um, friends who came said, man, I missed those stories, so tonight I was extra talking. And it might have been the martini. Between her thighs, a life, a 
love all alone She forgot to go home He's a teacher of Shakespeare A pot of gold inside his beer A poet of loneliness Unless a million's in here And did you know Professor Sunshine He tried in real life fine Why? Your harmonies with Tony Furtado tonight were, were amazing Tell us about your musicians this evening. Todd Bales playing accordion and guitar and piano, and Tony Furtado playing slide and banjo and singing some of his wonderful songs that he's written. I'm thinking today when I'm when I'm downloading iTunes and stuff, like how easy it is to pirate music. I have mixed feelings because a lot of artists that I'm turned on to, somebody might have, um, you know, shared with me a CD, and then it ends up because I heard the CD might have been a burnt CD, I'll end up going and purchasing more music from that artist. No more fierce blue eyes, no more last goodbyes, no more patronizing, no more alibis, no more do or die. Mistakes up in the skies. No more salty blues. Say it now, I love you. Like a stone turning to sand in my hands. No more wrong or right. No more hated fight. goal next what's next for you what's next on the horizon hunkering down and writing more and touring and um, just pushing myself as a musician I want to get better guitar and piano Thanks as always for watching PD Exposed everybody, now it's your turn to visit this fabulous Oregon coast town of Seaside. Thanks as always to our sponsors American Laser, Relax the Back, Comcast, Latitudes, London Influence and The Showroom. Make sure to visit PDExposed.com right now for your chance to win a $1,500 gift certificate from American Laser. Due to overwhelming and popular demand, the contest has been extended. Thanks to everybody and all our good friends here in Seaside that made this show possible and again thanks to you for watching. We'll catch you next time on PD Exposed. As always, make good memories, everybody. Comcast Latitudes, London Influence. You back to the Oregon coast. Hi. <laughs> and the contest has been extended. Thanks again for watching us. PD, sorry, sorry. PD Exposed, everybody. Now it's your chance. Now it's your turn and your chance. Beached whale. Now Lewis stayed behind all the time. <laughs> right through this very point of Tillamook Head. <laughs> so Clark of Lewis and Clark fame led an expedition right through this very point through Tillamook Head, just south to Cannon. <laughs> I said Lewis, didn't I? <laughs> Did I say? I said Lewis, didn't I? <laughs>